What is going on guys, today we are looking at for birthday laner. And to be fair, ATA rated, coming in quite nice. We did get a version of him, I think for the past couple of years now. I know we got an SBC version of him. I, I want to say, was it last year or maybe the year before? Um, but we haven't got footbin, unfortunately. It is uh, not necessarily working, which is always fantastic. But we'll start off with the SBC. We've managed to load him up now. So he got one FIFA 20. So we managed to get that SBC league card many, many moons ago. And it was an 88 rated. So let's have a look at him then. What's the SBC entailing? We've got 83 rated, team of the week one, team of the week one. Uh, Bundesliga 84 70 so to be fair to him not badly priced I think that's one of the better ones five star skills three star weak foot again I would always prefer the other way around just purely for the fact of defenders it is always better to have that weak foot never complaining because we've got the high high and he is right footed in terms of stats what have we got or traits we've got early crosser and again I'm interested to know have we got many Bundesliga players? Let's have a quick look. So we've got Frimpong, who was obviously a Future Stars token. We then have an Mbabu on the Versus Fire or Ice. And then uh, what, and a Mukiele as a Road to the Final card. We have Lena himself as an Inform and Munier. So to be fair, not too many options. Unless you've got an Mbabu or a Mukiele, then... Frimpong is a token. I don't think many people chose that. So, again, a very interesting kind of pairing. Lena coming in with 88 pace. Great acceleration. Sprint speed, not as much. Uh, we've got some crossing. Good short pass. Long pass could do with some work. Composure at 85. Dribbling at 85. Agility balance, quite nice. And reactions, good. Great stamina and aggression. Strength is decent enough. And we've got a bit of jumping and defensively looking all right. I can imagine... A lot of people will be going with the shadow, but we will double check that and we'll have a look at what people on Footbin have said so far. We have had no votes yet. Great. So in terms of a shadow, we'll end up with 98 pace, 91 defending, and it does turn him into a 92 right back or a 91 right wing back. If we went with the anchor, which I personally don't think is a massive kind of plus, purely for the fact that we only get a plus two on the aggression, which is pretty much maxed out. We get a plus 10 on the strength, and again, I don't think that is necessarily needed, but the shadow will give you that plus 10 pace, which I think is why not. Like that max it out completely. We get 91 defending. I think that is going to be 100% worth it. And I think the main kind of value for these two SBCs is going to be the informs. They're about 10 to 15k each, depending on when you buy them. And the 83 rated squad should be pretty simple. And the 84, again, few player picks. And you should actually have that quite done uh, quite easily. 70 cam, again, a little bit harder to come by, but... With a bit of grinding, I really don't think that's too difficult. No wingers required on that one if you want the chemistry. And then again, no wingers as well. 75 chem, but I think the 83 personally isn't that difficult to go with. So for me, I think he's coming in quite nice. I'd probably say he's a decent SBC. But again, I think if you've got any of the other right backs, I don't think there's absolutely massive amounts of kind of speciality with him. I think he is just a standard right back as normal. And normally we find that the Bundesliga is not in many kind of main teams. So more than likely, you are just increasing your kind of Bundesliga team or second team. So overall, I think I'd be looking at this SBC and thinking... I'd probably get it done if I've got a bit of fodder. Again, we have got an icon player pick that has just come out. So if you want to do that, that is an 84, two 87s, and an 86. So you're going to need all the fodder you can do. And as you can tell, there is still plenty to get done here. So it's going to be an interesting grind. I think he's a nice card. Um, not necessarily absolutely overkill amazing, but a decent one to say the least. So let me know down below if you're going to be completing him. And i catch you all for the next one. Peace.